we are now talking about playing the stuff we're undertaking playing today. Um, where we left off in your last video was how to hold the instrument, so just take however long it takes to get into that position. Um, reference the other video. One thing you can do is cross your legs if that's a comfortable position for you, but no big deal. I mostly just did that to make sure I put the in the window here. Cool, so like we talked about, when we have our arm out here, everything's very arm, arm, arm. And as opposed to over here, where we get a more loose arm and wrist thing. And the golf analogy, what we're going for when we strum is just grazing all the strings with the same amount of velocity when we're just strumming, I mean. And if we just start here, that's going to sound like, like when you play now. And if we see me in slow motion doing this, me or Kurt or whoever, you can see I'm all the way up here and I'm down as low as here. So your motions look good and you're just going to have to start over on this. I recommend that you kind of like pretend you're playing some Indian instrument that's really similar to guitar where sound won't even come out unless you really just do that, you know, like kind of just give up on it having gone. There's, there's things that we do in that small range of motion, but they're like mostly single node and types of motions. Cool. So before we do anything that interesting and get into about a girl, the first thing I wrote on the page was rhythm one, rhythm two, rhythm three. And these are intended to be like the easiest thing possible. Um, like I'm talking about during the lesson, we want you to be consciously focused rather than guessing when you're memorizing the material and working in little teeny sections and finishing one hard part at a time. So just right hand wise, you could theoretically, you know, not even play a chord over here right now, but you know, just play any chord where you hit all six strings, E minor, G, whatever, in, in your practice. And now we're just gonna put the focus entirely on your right hand, on your strumming side. And this is gonna be your means to get used to this wider range of motion. Rhythm one is just down strokes, you know? Um, and please don't play this back to me right now, just for the sake of your, your video. But yeah, so you know, just... Not only in rhythm, because I might as well, but for you, the whole trip is just like, make it into a grocery list that goes, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do it again, consciously focused on what you're doing. Like, one good attempt, what went wrong, okay, my pick was in too far, try it again, do it, and if you, even, if you just whiff on it entirely, at least you didn't do the same thing. So there you go. Let's get good at rhythm one, which is just one, two, three, four, all down strokes. And it may, like, you know, let's set this tempo as a, a beginning tempo, like, just like. And working up to something like. Cool. Please stop your video and get all the way the fuck good at that. Having done so, our next rhythm, we're just going to add up. When we're playing, it's like this always back and forth thing. Like, even if I'm going like... I'm doing this the whole time. It's this loosey-goosey nature of the beats thing. So, rhythm two is just going to be down, up, down, up, one, and two. And so now we're adding up to like... See, there, I missed. This time, I'm not going to miss. This is your means to consciously interact with. I'm now swinging away in a wider range of motion. Stop, you're good at that. The good news about rhythm three is it's just half rhythm one and half rhythm two. It's down, 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 down. We were just going down, 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 or down, up, up, up. Now we're just going like. Which is actually the rhythm to quite a few songs. Yeah, I'm just saying. Boom. All right, so right at 425 in this recording, we're going to start talking about that. Um, and, or I can just break off and give you a... No, let's, let's go ahead and talk about that. So we're just going to duplicate what he does in the intro. Um, the song goes E minor G, E minor G, and we learned this new phrasing of G today that's a lot easier to switch to from C shapes and stuff, so you'll also want to sub it out for doing this and kiss off. Um, and it's, you know, we're gonna, so there it is. So first, in your practice, just please have an excruciating 5, 10, 20 minutes of just being like, 
Fuck my life, this is not fun. Consciously focused on what you're doing. But you you were getting better at that just during the lesson, having never played in GU this way. That's the good news. You know, just kind of get half full about this and go after it. We brought you better really fast. So anyway, just kind of get your left hand trained, zoomed in. Good. The strumming pattern goes down, down, up on the E minor, and then down, up, down, up on the G. That's going to sound like... He does other variations of it in the song, but that's what he does right at the beginning. Um, like I said in the lesson, if you try to play this along with Unplugged, we'll find that he's the opposite of capo one. Either I'll tune down and have stuff, which is a very Kobe and Hendrix thing to do. So there we go. You're trying to go wider range of motion. So there's this concept, the open strum, or switching between chords. Like if I was going... There was actually one strum in there where I had no chord when I was on the way to the change. So in this chord, E minor to G, our middle finger can act as an anchor, if you will. But these are, these fingers are going to move the other two. So you can think of your open strum as being the left up in E minor. And I'm going to do that in super slow mode, super zoom in over here. But what I mean is... So my ring finger took off, and my pinky went to get ready on that up strum. And again, that sounded like... Up. There you go. What's up? I just need to change that G string. So there we go. Zoomed in on our on our left hand part. So it's like on the up strum on your way to the next chord. You're probably already doing that unconsciously without knowing you're doing it. Great. Please stop your video, get good at about a girl. If you want more stuff to do, just work on kiss off and like we were saying, talk about during the lesson. Maybe start with a chorus because it's full on strumming, which is kind of the thing we're working on right now. Um, and look into riffs and so forth very soon. There you are, you've been guitar lessoned.